Human aging is a perfectly normal process. Everybody gets old. We're, we're continually bombarded with adverts of products which are going to ameliorate the effects of aging. However, the fundamental biology of aging really remains something of a mystery. Getting old per se is not a problem. It's, it's the frailty, the disease uh, that we're concerned about in older people. So we want to find out why cells lose the ability to divide as they get old. Now to look at that, we can't look at um, a whole swathe of the human population. We can't look from um, birth to 80 years old because we can't do experiments that way. So what we do is look at a premature human aging syndrome. It's called Werner's syndrome and um, the people with that syndrome get old very, very quickly. The interesting thing about Werner's syndrome is that we know it's caused by loss of a single gene. So one gene not working means that you get old very, very quickly. So obviously we're very interested in looking at what that gene does to explain why people get old quickly, why there are so many different characteristics like grey hair, wrinkled skin, heart attack, are all caused by loss of a single gene. Now the problem with working in human cells, even with the premature aging syndrome, is when we try and grow the patient cells in the lab, they don't grow very well, they get old very quickly, and we don't have long to do the experiments. The other problem is that um, the gene that's lost we know um, has many different functions in the cell. And what we're trying to do is tease apart what the different bits do. What we've done is um, started to look at fruit flies uh, called Drosophila melanogaster. And in the fruit fly, we've discovered a version of the gene that's very, very similar to the human gene. So we can study that in much more detail. Having obtained a stock of fruit flies in which our gene of interest wasn't functional, we wanted to look and see if there were any similarities in appearance of these flies uh, in comparison to the appearance of Werner syndrome patients. Now because flies in this regard have a bit of a limitation, that is to say that they don't show signs of overt aging such as greying hair, wrinkles, cataracts and other things, we were really interested in looking at evidence of the molecular events which were shared between Werner syndrome patients and our flies. Their DNA is very, very unstable. It gets um, cut and, and spliced very much more frequently than you would expect. We used for this experiment a, a, a different mutation, one that solely affects uh, the, the, the appearance of the fly. This mutation is called multiple wing hairs and this is because each cell of the wing blade normally has a single hair and in this mutation it has a tuft of hairs. We used multiple wing hairs in an experiment to look for chromosome instability. In our experiment, instances where uh, inappropriate chromosome behaviour has occurred, we've, we see this as a patch of cells on the wing blade which, which have the multiple wing hairs instead of single wing hairs. When we looked at our, our mutant flies, we found that, that these events happened at a very, very high frequency approximately 150 of these events per fly. The observation of high levels of genome instability in our flies lacking this gene function is reminiscent of the situation in the human Werner syndrome patients whose cells are known to show similarly high levels of genomic instability. So we know that the chromosomes are unstable. We also know that the flies are very, very sensitive to a drug that in human Werner's patients, they're also very, very sensitive to. And that drug itself causes problems with the DNA. And what we've, we think is happening is that the, the role of the gene that would normally prevent you from aging prematurely is to deal with problems in the DNA. We now have a model system where we can look at a gene very heavily implicated in ageing and find out what it does, um, if you like, from birth to death. What we can do with the fly is find out exactly what the activity of the gene is in cells and look through development and how it impacts on the life cycle of, of the organism. Um, what we can't do is absolutely directly say that because the mutation in the gene in flies um, causes um, problems with DNA recombination, that that's a direct cause for human ageing. We think that there's a very strong link between DNA instability and ageing, but the research at, at this stage hasn't taken us that far.